In the wake of September the 11th, President George W. Bush warned about the axis of evil threatening the nation. Now a new axis is forming off our shores. What you're seeing here is another axis of evil. Over the past few years, Venezuela, Iran, and Syria have formed increasingly close ties that serve to strengthen the three terror-sponsoring states and bolster their ambitions. <laughs> هذه أول مظاهرة تم توثيقها في سوريا خرجت في محافظة درعا كلهم كانوا يقولوا نبغاكم تساعدونا بالسلاح وهم جمعوا السلاح في تلك المترة في مسجد العمري مدى العمري وجمعوا السلاح والشيخ حقهم الضرير رفض السلاح لتتحدث مواقع معارضة للنظام لاحقا بأن قصة الأسلحة في المسجد كانت صحيحة الله أكبر أكبر الله 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 أكبر ولم نرى ديمقراطية تساوي العدل هذا شيء خيالي لم نرى ديمقراطية تساوي العدل story Russia and China have vetoed a UN Security Council resolution on Syria I'm not puppet I wasn't made by I wasn't made by the West to go to the West or to any other country قائم على الجماعة جماعة داعش أغلب قوات السعوديين الجماعة الأخرى جماعة النصرة التي هي جناح تنظيم القاعدة بل هي امتداد تنظيم القاعدة أغلب من فيها هم الشباب السعوديين We have some proof here now that the White House was backing a false flag in Syria. Why would the Assad government uh, uh, use uh, uh, poison while you have a very strong UN team in Damascus? Well, more evidence that Turkey is supporting Al-Qaeda in an attempt to overthrow the Syrian government. Syrian Deputy Prime Minister says the armed conflict over the past two years has cost the country's economy around $100 billion. Now, all these uh, new sanctions are being posed uh, as part of the EU strategy to topple the Syrian government. Russian President Vladimir Putin said Friday that his country would continue to supply arms to Syria if the U.S. strikes at that regime. The Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of our Americas, or ALBA, is sending seven tons of humanitarian aid this week. Ayuda médica por un millón doscientos mil dólares llegó hoy a Damasco procedente de Teherán. Una muestra de solidaridad como respuesta a los atentados terroristas perpetrados contra el sector de salud sirio. These horrifying reports come to RT from the town of Adra, north of the Syrian capital, which has been occupied by Islamist rebel groups. At least 100 people are said to have been massacred by the rebels, but as the Syrian army continues to liberate the city, that number is expected to rise. We underline the need for deepening cooperation with health and relief organizations in the upcoming month in terms of supporting medical centers and rehabilitating them. Celebrations in Damascus as Syrian President Bashar al-Assad wins a third term in office, getting almost 90% of the vote. The Syrian people were actually voting against foreign intervention, were voting for solving our problems by Syrian hands, and were voting against Western hegemony that has really caused death and destruction in our country for the last three and more years. As Jafari said that the Syrian government is shouldering the greatest burden in terms of food aid distributed in Syria at around 75% of this aid, while the UN and other organizations provide only around 25%. Syria will not be Libya. Syria will not be Iraq.